So, hello to everyone and welcome. It is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you a video I have been looking forward to making for quite some time since I had the idea and this is to bring you the worst ever players in FIFA career mode history. Recently, we had the best wonder kids and therefore really the best players that you can buy in FIFA history in career mode. Today, we're going to the opposite end of the scale, taking a look at the opposite end of the contrast and looking at literally the worst players FIFA career mode has ever seen in its history. And I'm talking bad. There are some overalls that you didn't even know were possible to have in this video. And it's gonna be based on potential, so the worst potential that a player had. So so a player might have been like 20 overall, but if they had like 70 potential, then I guess they're not actually technically that bad in terms of career mode. However, these guys are all absolutely horrendous. If you go on to enjoy the video, make sure to slap a like on it and let's get into proceedings. So we're going to start off with some of the more recent players who have been absolutely horrendous in career mode before going back in time really and taking a look at even worse players because quite frankly, the ratings were even harsher back in the day. So starting off with the most recent of the players in this video, this is Paul Tisdale, the centre mid who was playing for Exeter back on FIFA 15 when he was 40 overall. He was 41 years of age. His age was higher than his overall and obviously given his age his potential was never going to increase. In fact actually quite scarily he would have decreased in overall in what I imagine is only a one year career mode when it comes to his sort of lifespan on that game because obviously players that are that old tend to retire very quickly on career mode. So yeah, Paul Tisdale, 40 rated, 41 years of age, pretty much sets the tone for all the other players involved in this video. We go back in time a couple of years to FIFA 13 to check out the oldest player in this video and it's Mark Crossley, the 43 year old goalkeeper who was playing for Chesterfield at the time. Exactly the same in terms of ratings and potential as Paul Tisdale who went before him who interestingly just going back to him was from Malta wouldn't have put it past him to not even be included in the Malta national team but Mark Crossley himself is from England rather than Malta he definitely isn't getting into the English national team with a rating obviously of a 40 and a potential of 40 again he would be another player who would retire absolutely immediately but 43 years of age that's three higher than, than, than the actual number that his, uh, it baffles me, absolutely baffles me as to how a player can be rated that badly. How have EA even looked at him and been like, you just don't even deserve to be a professional footballer? Because that's basically what it comes down to. FIFA 12 was also a very interesting game as far as ratings were concerned, especially for very low ones. First of all, we've got Dino Momria, who I believe is from Tunisia, and at the time was 40 years of age. He's a striker who was playing for Stevenage at the time, and again, like the two players that have gone before him, he was 40. 40 rated and 40 in terms of his potential, but I think the year before this, he was 60 overall. From what I can gather from SoFIFA, he had a much higher rating the year before or something, either that or their ratings have glitched on the website because I couldn't really tell. If that is the case, what happened between FIFA 11 and FIFA 12? Did he actually lose a leg? I'm genuinely considering that might be a possibility. How do you go from being, yep, yeah, okay, solid League 2 quality, to being 11th tier quality in Gibraltar. Like, it genuinely, it makes no sense to me. Dino Marmaria, though, the Stevenage striker, surely goes down as a legend as being one of the worst outfield players of all time on FIFA. And on the same game, we return back between the sticks because Steve Book, who was 41 years of age on FIFA 12, playing for Cheltenham, also had a rating of 40 and a potential of 40. So the first four players in this video of all of the same rating and potential. I can confirm that will be changing, but Steve Book and Dino Marmaria there on FIFA 12, both of them absolutely horrendous. And now, well, the ratings are about to spiral out of control, ladies and gents. We're turning back the clocks now eight years as we go on to FIFA 10, and Mario Kröpfel, I think his name is, is an Austrian winger. I don't actually know what team he was playing for at this time, uh, but he was a right winger and 18 years of age. So now we've crossed over drastically from extremely old players to actually young players who should have a very high potential. Not the case, I'm afraid to report, because Mario Kröpfel had a starting overall of just 35. For some reason or another, he only would grow 
by five in career mode. So he'd only actually get to a potential, a very height of 40 overall, which matches the people we've had in this video so far. But I don't know why he would only grow by five when he is so young. I think for some reason the growth system on FIFA back then was just so ridiculous that it just wouldn't take his age into account. But that's the first or the worst rating, sorry, that we've had in this video so far. But it definitely isn't going to be the worst in the video at all, I'll tell you that much. Jordan Stepien, however, is going to boost things up slightly because although he had the same potential as everyone else in this video so far, being 40, his rating was the lofty heights of 37 in comparison to Mario Kreutzfeldt who went before him. Jordan Stepien, who is an English striker, I don't know where he is now, but at the time on FIFA 08, he was playing for Bury, and obviously as I mentioned, had an overall of 37, 18 years of age, and was a striker, so very, very poor, and again, would only grow by three, despite being so young. I think we take for granted now how the growth system works on current FIFAs, and that, you know, young players grow quite a lot, whereas back on old FIFAs it just didn't seem to be the case, or at least it was a lot more random. Sticking with the same game though, and we're about to see the worst potential in FIFA history, because on FIFA 08, a young Swiss winger by the name of Dylan Stadelman for Lausanne in the Swiss League, 18 years of age, had a potential of 37. 37! How? How is that even possible? The biggest heights that the game have predicted for you are basically to be a Sunday League reserve, is, is what is going on here. 33 was his starting overall, and he could only grow by 4 on the game to 37. Is it even possible to be 33 rated as an actual career mode player anymore? I don't think you even get youth academy players that are that low in terms of rating. It's honestly astonishing. But Dylan Stadelman, unfortunately, sir, if you happen to be listening or watching this video, you are the worst player in career mode history as far as potential is concerned. He isn't, however, the worst in terms of rating. In fact, far from it. We'll get onto that in a moment, but we're stepping back yet another year onto FIFA 07 with a final three players lie. First of all, Ben Wilkinson, a central midfielder who was playing for Hull 11 years ago. Don't know where he is now, he'd actually be 29 because back then he was just 18 years of age. Had a starting overall of 36 but only grew to 38. So yet another player with a uh, below 40 overall as his potential. Absolutely shocking. Nicola Madonna is going to be the penultimate player we talk about. I can't imagine he was in vogue when it comes to players to sign in a career mode because he was only 35 at the start of a career mode save back on FIFA 07. And to add to that, he would only grow to 39 as a as a potential now i believe this guy was on the game until fifa 16 or potentially now i can't remember but he was on a recent fifa and he was actually 65 overall which is a lot more respectable but back then ea had absolutely no hope for the geezer whatsoever and the italian was playing for a side that isn't on fifa anymore being a lefe uh, had only 35 as an overall and 39 as a potential but the final player we've got to talk about. We've left the worst till last, technically speaking, because although his potential is one higher than Dylan Stadelman, who we saw earlier, his rating is absolutely cataclysmic. Step forward, Andrea Cenzori, who used to play for Arezzo, who I think were a Serie B team back on FIFA 07. The 17-year-old, the youngest player in this video, the centre mid, had an overall of 28. 28! I'm sorry, how can you possibly be? I don't think I would even be 28 overall. That is absolutely cataclysmic, quite frankly. At least he gains a bit of reputation back by the fact that he could grow by plus 10 in career mode to the lofty heights of 38, but still, to start off at a rating like 28, really does sum up some of the worst players that we have seen in FIFA career mode history. And Andrea Cenzori is the worst in terms of overall. Dylan Stadelman is the worst in terms of potential. And that, I reckon, wraps up the worst players in career mode history. Ten, just uh, honestly, it baffles me. Ten players who are beyond bad, who have a beyond dead wood in your squad 
they are just the worst of the worst in career mode history anyway obviously in real life they might actually be semi-decent but in terms of FIFA history they're absolutely shocking and my word I've never heard of any of these but when I was doing research for this video it was it was quite hilarious I'm not gonna lie seeing some of these ratings flying around but let me know if you have for some reason ever used any of these players or even maybe seen them play in real life let me know down in the comment section who were some of the worst players you've ever used in career mode history let me know about that as well drop your thoughts down below you can subscribe as well if you're new to the channel that will really help me out so it's the big red button under the video if you are new around here and you did enjoy then make sure to slap that button and the like button as well you can also follow me on social media these days my twitter handle is at the official fng links are down below and my instagram is exactly the same links to that are down below as well but it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today have a great day enjoy yourselves and goodbye.